Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do something a tad bit different. It's a li it's somewhat open water fishing. We're gonna do a bay uh, here in the Galveston complex and uh, we're still chasing after the top three, which is redfish, speckled trout, and flounder. It's been a minute since I've caught one of them flat boys, but uh, one of these days I'm gonna get lucky bouncing one of these bottom bouncers uh, from bugs fishing off the bottom uh, so hopefully we're gonna be able to catch some fish uh, it's again a new area uh, the water has been really low uh, everywhere that I have been looking and uh, yeah I guess I'm just rambling huh all right so what are we gonna get started with it's going to be this guy again we've got an old 18 hollow point rod this is a light action uh, spinning. We've got the Lose Custom Pro. This is a uh, spinning reel. It's a 1000 series and then right there that is the Bugs Fishing Clickbait Minnow which by the way if y'all are trying to look on Bugs website for that lure it's not going to be there. It's because it's not available until spring of 2021 and at which point in time you will be able to purchase one of these. As of right now, it is a killer. It's been a killer since, like for the past few trips that I've been out there and uh, it's doing the trick because there are a lot of bait fish in the water and all the game fish pretty much have their choice of uh, whatever it is that they wanna eat as far as the bait goes. So trying to trick them into biting is very tough, but this guy has been getting it done with that rabbit fur and uh, yeah. Let's hope for the best. I'm going to get started, so uh, hang tight. Oh, there we go. That's a nice weight right there. That's what I've been looking for. A slow patrolling motor. All right, let's see if we can get that fella to bite. I'm trying to go as slow as I possibly can. I haven't had much luck recently with a fast retrieve. Ah, look at that. He just went out. Yeah, I spooked him. That's a big old mud cloud. We've already ruined one clickbait minnow. The uh, color that I was using yesterday that I finished up with, we got snagged in some oyster just a minute ago and I had to take that off because the hook point was ruined. It wasn't sticky anymore. So we've got this chartreuse one on and, oh wow, I just bumped somebody. Um, the chartreuse one is on. I haven't got anybody interested in anything. Are we? Oh, we're bottoming out. Uh, so yeah, I'm more than likely gonna swap out lures because I can't fish this slow. It has to constantly be like swimming and I wanna bounce it off the bottom, but I keep getting snagged in the oyster. We gotta come up with a different game plan to start out with. So let's just put this fella away for right now. We might bring him back out whenever we get to an area where there is no oyster and I can cast up against the grass line and have a bit more success with it. So there we go, let's put that fella away. We're gonna throw a paddle tail. This is for the most part somewhat weedless and that hook is protected by the plastic of this paddle tail, just like that. I don't know if this is gonna work or not because it's gotta constantly be in motion. We haven't had luck with the fast moving lures lately so we'll give it a try that's all we can do all right so uh here we go with a quick one hour update y'all haven't missed much of anything we've got zero water movement so that's gonna make the bite pretty tough today i've seen a few blow-ups alongside the grass but it's i can't get them interested in taking anything that i'm casting so far we'll keep at it though 
two hour update. Uh, I've made my way out into the open water portion of the bay and zero bites, nothing whatsoever. Again, tidal movement isn't gonna start until around 3 p.m. and I don't see myself staying out here that long because it's gonna be extremely hot. We're in, in the part of summer where our days are like going beyond 100 degrees out here and uh, that's just downright brutal. So I don't know how the day is gonna end. It's not looking too good right now but we'll uh, stay persistent and hopefully be able to snag into something before the day ends. Okay, right there. There we got them. It is a speckled trout. That's what they're working. Yeah, like I said, don't pay attention to them turns. Go to where the seagulls are and those guys will not lead you astray. They're actually hovering on. Come on, buddy, chill out. Uh, they're hovering on what's actually feeding. There we go. We're gonna call this fella Krispy Kreme. Uh, just because I'm thinking of donuts right now. I wish I had a like a Shipley's donut. Oh my gosh. Let's see what else we can get. Where's my seagull, buddy? There he is right there. Don't leave me, buddy. I just got one fish. The party just got started, man. Darn. There we go. That's a nice one. It feels like a little bit heavier. Oh yeah, enough to take the drag. That is the first keeper of the day. Let's grab the Ego. Let's get you in the boat, buddy, because you saved my day. I thought we was gonna get skunked, but no way. Here we go. Oh yeah. Got it done with the clickbait shrimp again. I mean, actually that's a clickbait minnow, not shrimp. Here, let's get that off the net. Whoa, whoa, player. You got caught, bro. The rules are, if you get caught, we get to make fun of you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to grab them like that. There we go. Let's grab them just like that. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Here, we got to get this camera so we can get a thumbnail for later on. But look at that right there. Beautiful catch. Alrighty, there we go. That's probably about 16, 17 inches. No need to measure him. Uh, I know I got a keeper. Great for the frying pan. Nothing extravagant, but definitely worth eating if you were deciding to keep fish. That is something you'll want to throw in the pan. There we go. Got him. Little motorboat. I don't think this dude's ever been water skiing before. So you got a, a mixture of big fellas and little ones in there. That's a pretty little trout right there. We got him right on the top of the mouth. That's because we took and bent the hook upwards as well. All right, come on. Whoa, whoa, let it go. There you go. Look at that. Oh man, he got my streamer. Great. Way to go, that's the flash that I need, buddy. Get out of here, freaking troublemaker. Ruining my lures. Perfect cast right there where the shrimp went airborne. And we got him. This one's got, this is another keeper right here. All right. Let's get the ego back into some action. Oh my God. That is not a keeper, but he was almost a keeper. He fought like one. Oh my gosh, this dude has got really pretty colors. I mean, he is, it looked like somebody hit the contrast button on this fella. Somebody edit you, buddy? I ain't even got to edit this. If I was to take a photo, <laughs> there's no need to edit because that dude has got the look. All right. There we go. That is a gorgeous looking speckled trout, my gosh. Let's keep casting before we use a trolling motor to keep us going. That's the beauty about using the autopilot. 
uh, from Old Town, whether it's the 120, the 136, this is the 136 right here. Had I caught that fish, if I was inside a strictly pedal kayak, I would have stopped to fumble around with my fish, get them unhooked, get my lure, check the line, see if it's good, and all the while the wind is blowing at 10 miles an hour out of the southwest and I would be like probably 30, 40 yards behind me. But because I have it on spot lock, I am locked into place. So after I'm done fumbling with that fish, I can continue on with these birds. And because it's such a quiet motor, I've heard some of the competition out there how loud those motors are oh my gosh they are just downright horrible this thing is super silent I'm able to stay on the fish and this is the prime example of what I want to show each and every one of y'all what these kayaks are capable of doing again this is not a paid advertisement for Old Town uh, I'm not getting paid to say anything that I'm saying to use this kayak I use it because I choose to and I was a Hobie boy for the longest time until this kayak came around and uh, man oh man I, I'm just in heaven being able to use a platform that allows me to concentrate on just fishing oh there we go That's that felt like a really hard one like big one. No, he's a little fella. <laughs> a hard one. Yeah, it felt like a hard one. That's what she said. All right, little guy. I must have got you right in full stride, and that's why you were able to bend the rod tip. All right, buddy. Continue living that good life. Go eat that fresh bait. So what I think I'm going to need to do is put on a heavier clickbait minnow. I don't want to go inside there and disturb those guys and I also don't want to have to consistently keep chasing these fellas down so I should be able to cast a great distance even with the wind being that I'm using a light action rod and only five pound test I should be able to reach those guys from where I'm at right now but I'm coming up short because of the wind and how light that lure is. Okay, this next cast should definitely yield us fish because bam, right there within casting distance. There we go. Thank goodness there ain't no pelicans over here because those guys would go right after my fish right here. Yeah, look at that. That's a heavy sardine right there. It's probably 14 inches right there. Actually, 12 inches. Ain't no 14. Boy, oh boy, these fellas are hungry. He's grunting too. Son, you just got bamboozled. There we go. Beautiful fish going after the minnow. The clickbait type. You just got clickbaited, son. Oh boy. Yeah, this is a school of little dinks. But I'm telling y'all what, on a, on a day like this where I don't expect to catch any reds because we have zero water movement, I'll take this all day long. Definitely fun coming out, watching these guys tear up bait right up underneath the birds. Bro, you're gonna have to let that go. Thank you. And uh, yeah. That's what it's all about, coming out here, enjoying some time on the water, feeling that tug. On a light action rod like this, it feels like a big fighter. I'm telling y'all, if you want to challenge yourself, get you a light action rod, an ultralight, if y'all would like to use what I'm using. These are built by Old18, it's the hollow point. You can save yourself 20% by using my code MDLR20 and that'll get you 20% off of this rod right here. I tell y'all what too, I cannot wait for the Arius to come out. That's my lineup from Old18. That is going to be fun. It's uh, a rod that I helped design and I can't wait to show it off whenever I finally get it in my hands. Is a red.
good. Okay, so I got my eye on him now. And I can see exactly where he's at. Ah, come on, man. Oh yeah, that's a sheep's head. Let's see if we can sight cast this fella. He's got it. Sight cast at a sheep's head, baby. <laughs> awesome. Get over here, you buck tooth bandit. Look at that. Went after the bug's hothead. I'm telling y'all, man, every one of bugs' lures, they, they, uh, I can't even talk. Their ability to catch fish is just so crazy. Oh, that's not a sheep's head. This is a black drum. A little bitty puppy drum. Not bad. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Look at that right there. Beautiful. That's the second one this week that I've caught. There goes another one right there. That's a sheep's head though. Here, let's see if we can get that fella to bite. Hopefully I didn't spook him when I stood up. Oh, there he is right there. That looks like a sheep's head though. Gotcha. That's a sheep's head. There we go. Now we got us a bucktooth bandit. Oh my gosh, this dude is pretty. He's got some really nice colors on him. Let's get us some slack to work with. There's a bit of an oyster bar right here to my right hand side and these fellas are just running up and down it. That makes no sense, huh? <laughs> They're swimming up and down that oyster. Black drum, sheep's head. Oh my gosh. This is why I call these guys buck tooth bandits. You gotta take a look at their teeth. <laughs> uh, you got a good dental hygiene, bro. There we go. Get that off. Well, two back to back on the hothead. And look at this fella right here. Look at that. That is a gorgeous fish right there. Good colors, small little teeth. The grown-ups, man, they start munching on rocks and stuff like that. And, and those guys, boy oh boy do they got. <laughs> when Elijah caught one, he was uh, still a kid and it, he saw it for the first time and he's like, oh my gosh, he's got buck teeth, dad. What the heck is his mouth? That looks so- Don't put your He has pants. human teeth. He has human teeth. What the heck was that? He's got buck teeth, dad. Yeah. The heck? Look at his teeth. It's stuck. Oh, I love that video. I wish he would come out here fishing with me still. That's another good day out there on the water. For those of y'all that are fishing here in my area, which is the Texas Gulf Coast, be sure you're drinking plenty of water. Oh my gosh, the heat is just getting downright unbearable. We are already approaching like the hundreds and above for the past three fishing trips that I've been out there. So make sure to stay well hydrated. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I am thinking about creating a video for the battery that I am currently using on both of my autopilots. Uh, a lot of y'all have had tons of questions and uh, rather than try to type out a response inside the comments for each and every one of y'all, I will do a standalone video concerning my FPV power 50 amp hour battery. I use two of them but uh, that's gonna be coming up here really soon. So again, thank you so much for watching. For those of you not subscribed to the channel and you enjoyed today's content, do me a favor, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the notification bell icon so that whenever I drop, uh, man, I'm tongue twisted. 
new videos over the Autopilot 136, you'll be able to be notified. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.